We're back in Iceland. It's Nancy Drew. I've got my notepad here. I've got all my notes on here. And we got a mystery to solve. It's been a, an emotional the last couple of episodes, I have to say. Very emotional. We had the whole Ned and Nancy thing. We had the whole Gunner and Elizabeth thing. We had the fact that the dog was hiding in the cupboard here, or the, the door, and Elizabeth stole the dog just to kind of get back at Magnus. But anyways, we're here and we gotta figure this out. We're gonna go up to the front of the ship here because there's a puzzle right here where we have to put this coin that Dagny gave us. Hmm, I bet I can use Dagny's token to rotate these. Let's get them all facing right side up. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try here. Oh. Interesting. So when they're the right side up, they go... Hmm. So if I put it here, it should go this way, shouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. I think we just gotta go middle now. Because that's already right side. We did it! And we have another wooden gear, which we know exactly what that's for. Is there anything else in here? Huh. I was kind of hoping for a phone charm. Sadly, no phone charm. I have six, but I, I need the seventh one. I mean, really, I need it. <laughs> I want the seventh one, please. Anyways, we need to go back to deal with the uh, gears. Oh! Hello. So, funny story for you. I was looking over my luggage recently and noticed something was missing from my bag. And then I started to think, gee, who would get their sticky little thief fingers all over my stuff? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I knew it couldn't have possibly been you, no. Nancy Drew. Anyway, no. bye now. No, wasn't us at all. Nope. You don't even know what you're talking about, Dagny. Creaky boat is creaky. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Huh. Oh, this looks ancient. It must be from the original captain. It's got a creepy skull and bone hands here, too. I bet I need to get one of every symbol on each row and column. Okay. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, I'm, going, I'm eating my gummy right now, in case you're wondering. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat my gummy. How do I get this off of here? Oh, there we go. That's a circle, that's a... Diamond, diamond, so I need a... No, that's not gonna work, that's a... How do I... No, that's not gonna work. Gotta put that right on top, maybe? Hmm. And then where's my last diamond gonna go? There, there, there. There's a diamond. No, oh, that doesn't work. Okay. No, then I got two here. That looks pretty good, right? Bam, bam, bam. Now let's do this one next. So that's got one. There. There and there. Alright. Now what about pink squares? Sure, we'll put one there. So we need one somewhere in this one. Maybe there. There, and then probably here. Uh, no, you know what I just realized? This diamond's got to move over one. There we go. Okay, now what symbol do we want to do next? Oh my gosh, it's so creaky. So we got to get this one. Uh, 
I guess I gotta go here. Oh, I actually have to place them too. So not here. And I guess there. Boom. This one needs one. Right there. Alright, now let's do diamonds here. There, there, there. Boom, boom, boom. I'm thinking there. There and there. Gonna put these back in their place. And I have to actually... Oh. I'm not exactly sure what I've done with that one. But let's deal with this one. That one goes there. Did I do it? Did I do it? I guess I gotta put this over here. Easy peasy. Yeah, easy peasy, like Nancy said. Ooh, December 21st, 1786. My dearest girl, if you have come this far, then my hope is that you will discover that which is rightfully yours, for your mother and I have surely perished. In what manner I know not. But know that my love for you transcends anything in this world or the next. As you will undoubtedly learn, this ship contains many secrets, some of my own, and some of the men who came before me. This journal contains the only truth on the matter I have ever written. I am no Dutchman. And here, like he is not my ship. As a boy, I lived in Manchester far from the sea. I went to London seeking a quiet life and instead found the call of the waves too strong to ignore. I joined the first crew, which offered me a decent coin and hopped aboard as sturdy in the ship. Not half a year into the course, we were overtaken by pirates at sea. As they levied their guns at us and demanded our surrender, we gave ourselves over to the new master gladly, for the original captain had been deeply cruel to us. I still remember the moment our new prime pirate captain first looked at me through his skin had been worn rough like bark with sun and age. His eyes were a deep piercing gray and full of shrewd intelligence. He called himself John North, though I have never known whether this was his true name, and I soon came to love him as my own brother. North always knew how to wiggle out of any situation. Whether we were lost at sea or stranded on an island with dwindling supplies or else terribly outnumbered by foes, we always managed to make it out with not more than a sh shirt on our back. Soon my heart forgot England entirely and yearned for the adventure with him. He spoke infrequently of his father, a lord with, with whom he ha was on poor terms, but I never learned anything more of where he came from or what he was after. Soon. He had handed ownership of the ship to me, declaring me the best navigator among our crew. I handled the charts and helm, and he handled the gold. It was a glorious partnership. Huh. All right, we've got that going on there. Hmm, wooden tracks. Is there a sliding piece missing? Ah, uh, I guess. I don't think I have the slutty piece that you're looking for. These are not the droids you're looking for. Actually, that's just random. All right. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Let's go through our tasks here. That's done. Haven't done that. Check. Did that. That's done. That's done. Can't check that off. Did that. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. That's done. That's done. Check. Check. Did that. Did that. That's done. Did that. Check, 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 check. Did that, did that. Check, check. Did that. Can't check. Haven't done. Still have to do that. Alrighty then. Alright, so we should go back to the, uh... Where should we go? We should go back to the lighthouse, because we didn't actually get to see that symbol that we made out of those little bits of paper. Because Dagny wanted to talk. I mean, really, Dagny? Really? All right, come on, Gibbs, you got this. Navigation. Why am I going here? <laughs> I 
don't know. Oh, I just want to go in a snowmobile so bad. Clearly. Oh, let's go to the lighthouse. Lighthouse. I love that it's still shining bright. Let's go inside. I want to go see what the thing is upstairs before Dagny rudely interrupted. And I know what's behind us. This design matches the one from those drawings. Sure does. Whoa, another puzzle. I'll need to have one of each number within each outline triangle and one of each number along the horizontal and diagonal rows too. It's like Sudoku. Of course it is. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the most populated here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need seven, eight, nine. <laughs> That's got to be eight because there's a nine right there. All right, done. Next populated over here. Let's see. One, two, three is what we have to populate here. One. Sure, why not? Three and then four, five, six, seven, eight. See, it can't be nine, so nine's got to be there. Now it gets interesting. That's got three, that's got two, that's got three, that's got three. Okay, well, let's start down here. Well, let's see if we can do two. Two can't be here. Two's got to be right there. So let's do three. So three has got to be one of these ones, which it could be any one. Put that there for now. Five can't be here. It's got to be, oh, it could be here too. I'll ah, we'll go here. Six. Six could be there or it could be there. Seven. Yeah, this is tricky. I mean, this could really be anything here. All right, let's go over here now. One. Or maybe we'll do here. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, the one can't be here. Where would one be over here? Sure, why not? And then two. So none of those are two. That can't be a two. So one of these is a two. Oh, and look at that. It has to be there. I guess. Okay, three now. None of those are three. One of these is three. What about here? None of those are three. And this has got to be three then. And let's do four. So none of those are four. This is a four. None of those are four. Let's, can we do one? Well, the only one we don't know where one is is over here. So it can't be one there. And we'll go there. All right, there's no four there. One, two, three, four. So it can't be four there, it's gotta be up here. Five. One, two, three, four. That can't be five, it's gotta be up there. That's already got a five, so that can't be five. Gotta be here. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well that has no. Six goes there. And there, and then that's a six right there. So we got seven. Seven has to go there. That's already got a seven. So seven's got to be here. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight can go there, and it can go here. And then we got nine, which obviously has to go with the remainder. Boom! Head. Into the right tunnel, continue for two steps. Then turn left and take one step forward. Buried into the cave wall, to your left wall will contain a chest. Should you be followed or forced by the town's treachery, simply reveal the decoy chest. The true chest lies behind that. You trace your chest to the decoy treasure's location. You will find another passage leading up from there. Follow it. Now recall the words I've sung to you so many times before. Press the images in the order they appear. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Well, let's see. That's done. 
Still have to do that. Haven't done that. So should we go check out the music box, maybe? I have to remember where the heck it was. Music box, where are you? Hmm. So... Where the heck is the music box? Is it in the ship? It might be. I'm not sure if it's in here. Let's see. Uh, I don't think so. Don't recall. Is it over here? Nope. In here? Oh boy, I don't remember the numbers. Wait, we can't even press them anyways. So that's not going to help me. You know what I haven't done? I haven't done this. Uh, okay. <laughs> that doesn't help me at all. I mean, it doesn't help me yet. If I was standing in front of it, maybe. Where the heck is that? I've been to Aw, she's singing again. Let's listen. To Amsterdam. Conquered my eighty swells with just the line beneath my head. And now I rest far in the north, a broken heart to lie forever under tattered sails and beneath the blackened sky. Such a nice singer. I think we actually have to go to the snowmobile, uh, Magnus's place. Try that. Hello? Are you in here? Yes, you are. This belongs to Elizabeth's family, and her song is a missing piece. I wonder if I can arrange these teeth to play that song. Okay. Ah, uh, sure. How do I even start this? No. Do 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 to do 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 to do 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 do. It's a map! Well, no, it's not a map. Several years have passed, and we conquered all the waters of the world. North tracked the movements of the English Navy with an intensity bordering on madness. He claimed a magnificent catch was coming our way. A ship called Heerlijkheid, belonging directly to the Dutch East Indians' most elite and private fleet. The ship, he claimed, contained a massive fortune, a treasure worth beyond comprehension, elaborately concealed within the ship's walls. When we've stolen the treasure, my good Lawrence will be the richest man in the world, he told me. We'll buy the largest home in Piccadilly and live a proper, like proper gentlemen. Though his estimates, estimations seemed garish and ill-advised, I trusted him and sailed to intercept the ship just north of Cape Town. Whoa! Cool. I shall take. Let's go back, I have a fishy! We're gonna go back to the boat. That's the ship alarm! Oh no! Ah. Uh, okay. 
Who's doing that? That's that's what I do. That's my alarm. Stay away from my alarm. Oh no, what are we gonna do?